Welcome to Kitty's Game Corner. I'm taking a look at Kick-Ass Commandos today. It's an indie game made from Anarchy Enterprise and it's been released for uh, almost a year now. It has six mission packs, 10 playable commandos, with a total of 54 missions. And one of the things they kind of like is explosions. So let's take a look at the game. So first off, game is a top-down retro 80s shooter game. It's 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 totally like old school retro, and and I kind of like that. It's 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 quite fun. There's not that many options, and um, there's only sound, in which you can see here that I'm trying to play a little bit with, and there's um and there's not anything else that you can play with. But you don't really need it. When you start the game, you can choose what kind of resolution you want. There are different kinds of difficulties in the game, and and if you pick brutal you really get brutal. I tried it and I played a little bit with it and it just destroyed me. Now the game comes with six mission packs as I said earlier and I want to show you a bit of the different mission packs that I've been playing here in the game. Now some of the things that I did notice is I kind of said this earlier, the, they really like explosions. They like explosions a lot. Um, getting killed, you get your head chopped off and there's blood everywhere, there's a lot of visual blood everywhere and, and it kind of gives the, the game a little bit more fun aspect even when you get blown up and, and everything's just totally crazy. I laughed a bit uh, sometimes uh, when I played the game and, and it, was, it was actually quite fun, I had a lot of fun playing it. Um, the sound is is well what you would expect. It's 80s uh, sound. There's there's bullets, there's flamethrowers, there's um, grenades, and and they make the sound that these things they make. And as you can hear probably in the background, there's like a heavy metal uh, background that that goes when when you play the game. So you kind of feel like you just have to blow everything up Rambo style. Now the game was actually in early access for almost a year. It has a, a price of uh, almost 15 uh, euros at the moment and uh, to be honest I kind of feel that the price is justified because there are a lot of um, gameplay in it. You can adjust the difficulties of the levels. You have a lot of um, fun levels to play with and they are quite different. I had this ice level where you skated around and there's a level in the desert and there's helicopters coming down trying to kill you, there's tanks, there's uh, special uh, elite monsters and, and different kinds of weapons, grenade launchers, flamethrowers, machine guns, uh, guns that shoot triple and, and there's actually a lot of things that you can do in the game. Now some of the things you, you probably won't do is replay the missions over and over again because there's not that much replayability but there is still 54 missions which can be a bit hard. I played the game on easy and still got killed sometimes and that could say something about my skill level or that the game is actually quite challenging at some parts. To look at your health sometimes you need to actually pick up the health. In easy there's a lot of health um, you can pick up uh, but it's still kind of makes it a bit hard in some of the boss fights. We need to think a little bit not running around and, and going into like a shotgun and, and, and get, getting killed. Now like I said before the graphics in the game is what you would expect from a retro 80s game but I kind of like it. There is um, there's kind of this arcade feeling to it and, and it kind of gives me the, the correct feeling that I would need to play this type of game. I really think that you should think about if this could be a game for you and, and I really think that you should play it if you like these old school retro type action games that's where you see from the top and, and down and you can't really zoom in or anything but that's that's kind of the beauty of the game you go back in time and you you play like like people did uh, 20 years ago and and that's quite fun and the game is fun you don't need to think you just need to blow things up and and just destroy everything so I want to thank you for for watching this this short review and and I really hope that you have a, a a great Christmas for those of you that celebrate that and and uh, maybe I'll see you next time uh, at my little space here on YouTube and um, please subscribe and give me a like if you like this review and um, have fun.